Dr. Beckingham here. Part five of my thyroid series is one of the most important parts. It's about getting help. What good is all this information if you're not going to do anything about it? Remember the goals of care are to give you control of your condition, not let that condition control you anymore. Okay? You have to take responsibility for this. You have to take control. And that's what I want to show you, getting help. If you want to see more videos, get more information, www.westlathyroiddoctor.com. Email me, drbeckingham at gmail.com. Call me at West LA, 310-614-2024. Call me in Glendale, 818-249-2300. So let's get going here. Let's get some help. If you could predict the future, who wouldn't want to do that, right? If you could predict the future, who would say yes? Everyone, you're saying yes right now. So this is what we're talking about. We offer a tissue antibody test at my office, is what we do. I insist on this if you already have one autoimmune disease we talked about in the previous video here. We can offer a tissue antibody test that puts all the tissues together in one test. You used to be able to go get one tissue antibody test at a time. Now there's a whole panel together, a lab in Arizona, that will do that for us. It will tell us if you have antibodies to maybe your pancreas. Guess what? That will lead to diabetes. Antibodies to your myelin, to your nerve. That is going to cause MS. Uh, antibodies to your thyroid, that's going to cause Hashimoto's. Antibodies to your substantia nigra up in your brain, Parkinson's disease. If you knew that you had antibodies to, say, your nerve tissue, wouldn't you do everything in the world to prevent getting MS? This is, this is profound, groundbreaking stuff here. We need to do this. This is functional medicine, people. This is what it's all about. What, am I just going to give you a drug and say, hey, your thyroid's fine, keep going, and let's see what else happens? No. No, we have to find out what's going to happen. All chronic health conditions have some common threads. All right? That means the diabetes, the thyroid, everything, they have common threads. <clears throat> so this is thyroid conditions, insulin resistance, vertigo, sciatica, you name it, irritable bowels, insomnia, celiac disease, infertility, polycystic ovarians, migraines, oxygen deficit. You're not getting enough oxygen through your cells to your body. Your brain needs two things to survive, fuel and activation. Fuel is food and oxygen. If I was to push you underwater, the reason you would pass away, there'd be no oxygen to your brain. Neurological misfiring. Your brain's not firing properly. Your left side's not talking to your right. Your frontal's not communicating with the midbrain. Your cerebellum's not controlling coordination. All these things, misfiring in the brain. But most importantly, metabolic imbalances. Blood sugar imbalance. You've done it to yourself. You're eating that one meal a day again. You're skipping meals. You're causing diabetes. Dysglycemia, again, the blood sugar imbalance. Cortisol imbalances, the stress. You can't handle that stress anymore. You're going to blow up. That cortisol has made you overweight. Sure, that's one thing, but more importantly, it's damaging all your tissues. Anemia, hormone imbalances. Maybe you're adding too much hormone, the wrong hormones. Maybe you don't have enough. Maybe you have too much testosterone because your blood sugar went too high. We've got to figure this all out. Autoimmune attacks. This is a metabolic problem. All right, It flares up. Autoimmunity isn't constant. It hits. And then it calms down and it hits and it calms down. That's why those people have like one good day, one bad day, a good week, two bad days. It kind of goes up and down. That's that ride that you're on. This is very common. You're not alone here. Immune imbalance. Again, that immune system being off balance here, off kilter. Too many soldiers, too many generals. They don't know what to do. Mutiny going on. Food sensitivities. You're irritated to that food. You keep putting it in. Guess what it's doing to you? Causing all these problems, which causes these problems over here. All cases, basically all chronic condition cases are a combination of neurological treatment, metabolic treatment. Metabolic, fixing all these processes we just talked about, blood sugar, hormones, you name it, and neurologic working on the brain. Comprehensive neurologic metabolic workup. This is the most important part. You come in and this is the stuff you're going to have to do. Your one little test that says TSH on it and maybe you got a calcium test and that's it. And that's my blood test my doctor gave me. Alright, that's one out of hundreds of pieces that I need. I need to have blood sugar testing. I need to see how your adrenal glands are doing. Your cortisol, stress hormones, cortisol levels there. Thyroid hormones, got to see what's going on there. All of them, TSH, T4, T3, reverse T3, T3 uptake, you name it, I need to see it. Female hormone panels, estrogens, all female have testosterone, got to see those levels. GI permeability, do you have the leaky gut? Leaky gut's when little microscopic particles of food leave our guts and go into our blood system. What do you think happens then? Your body goes, what is this? And attacks it. It causes an immune reaction. It's not supposed to happen that way. It's supposed to be digested. It's not supposed to leak into us. That's a huge problem in America today. Immune panels. Got to see what's going on with your immune system. What side's high? Is it soldiers? Is it generals? Is it even? Is it not? 
we don't know until we do the testing. Without the testing, you can't find the stuff out. I can't just guess. You can't just go on a drug. I can't just give you a vitamin. I can't tell you not to eat this, to eat this. We have to do the testing. Food sensitivity. You gotta do food sensitivity panel. You gotta find out, are you allergic to dairy? Are you allergic to gluten? Are you allergic to who knows what? We gotta find out. Soy, soy is a big one too. So we have to do the testing. Neurological testing, testing different parts of the brain, measuring oxygen levels, checking your eyes, checking your cranial nerves, checking your spinal cord, seeing what's going on here, all the nerves of the body. That's all part of it. Brain hemisphere misfiring with metabolic complications. So your brain's not working, your body's not working, you got the cortisol stress problem, you got your oxygen problem, you got your hormone problem right here, you got the blood sugar problem, you got all these problems, and they're all this disjointed mess. What are we going to do about it? We have to correct the brain misfiring, we have to correct the metabolic dysfunction, so we got to start lining up the cortisol, the hormones, the oxygen, we got to start lining them all up, put them together into a nice piece. It's not just the stress, it's not just the hormone, it's not just the food sensitivity, they're all pieces that cause the imbalance in the body. So you put them all together, at the same time you work on all these pieces of the body and you get the full picture. That's why just doing medication is not the answer, that's why just doing diet is not the answer, that's why doing just an herb is not the answer. You have to look at everything. You have to look at everything and you have to work it all together. Okay? Our office is different, okay? My clinics are different, a lot different than anything you've probably ever gone to before. I look at the cause of disease, I look at the cause of your chronic condition, your autoimmunity, all right? And that's, that's what we're looking for here, the cause. We call it the cause of your thyroid problem and we correct it. We do not cover up your symptoms and hope they go away. If your engine light goes on the car, are you going to take a black marker and black it out and say, hey, everything's fine and keep driving? No, you're going to have a problem, you're going to take your car in. A lot of these symptoms is your body's engine light telling you something wrong. We're not going to hope they go away. It's stressing that again. That is why proper testing is necessary. Without the testing, we don't know. I'm sorry. People come in sometimes like, oh, I don't want to get that test. I understand. If you don't want to do it, you're not ready to find out what's wrong with you. And that's okay. That's your prerogative. But when you're ready to find out why you have this problem, it's time to sit down and talk and we got to go about the right testing. When you find the cause, you can get a solution. If you know what's wrong, you can fix it. You can't just guess at this stuff. You can't just hope and pray and keep your fingers crossed and maybe I'll double your Synthroid or maybe I'll give you some vitamin. I don't know. You can't just do that. You have to find the cause to get the solution. Everybody's different. Everybody's tests are different. Thyroid dysfunction is a metabolic dysfunction. Proper testing is crucial. That's what we're talking about here. I have to do the metabolic profile. Thyroid panel, vitamin D, anemia panels, kidney function, immune panels, Th1, Th2, cytokines. These are things you've probably even heard of. Don't worry about it. I'll walk you through it step by step. We, take, we start that blood panel, and that's our first step in the road. And then we look at what that says, and we take more steps of what it tells us. So we've got to follow the map. Uh, adrenal stress index, measure your cortisol over the course of the day. You've got to see what's going on with the leaky gut testing. Food sensitivity, again, the gluten, soy, yeast, egg. We don't know yet until we test. Stool microbial. Yeah, we got to test your stool samples. You've got the H. pylori, parasites, bugs, yeast, fungus. What's going on in there? Don't know until we test. So who knows what your particular test will be needed. Maybe you bring them in and we go over them together and we find out what you do and don't need. So that's why everyone has to come in and bring all their last two years of testing. No piece of evidence is too small, all right? I need to see it all. And everyone thinks, oh, it's trivial, it doesn't matter, it matters to me. I want to know how you felt on your medication. I want to know how you did off all your old tests. It all matters to me. How you felt, you know, two years ago I did get sick when I ate a lot of cheese. I got to know it. So this is all pieces. Our patients are treated neurologically and metabolically, all right? Again, we're looking at the full package. A lot of patients do just need some metabolic work and a little bit of brain work. Some need a lot of brain work. Some just need just some coaching. Some just need to be told, oh, geez, it's just, it could be something as simple as just an allergy. It really could be, but we've got to find out if that's the case through proper testing. I will leave no stone unturned. No stone unturned to find out the cause of your problem, all right? That's what it's all about. You get 100% effort out of me, but I expect 100% effort out of you as well. And we have to work together. But we're going to look everywhere to find out what's causing this problem. You've had it for 30 years. Why? Why has nothing worked for you? We're going to find out. I use advanced treatment protocols for Hashimoto's and other thyroid disorders, all right? 
I remove the antigen. You got a parasite, we got to get rid of it. We got to correct dysregulation, all right? If you're having a bacterial problem, you got to take care of that. Modulate the immune system. Too many soldiers, guess what? Got to make less soldiers. Too many generals, got to make more soldiers. We got to balance this out and find out what's making this imbalance. We got to address the adrenal glands, what's going on there. We got to do the blood sugar. We got to see if you're doing the, if you're hurting yourself, your blood sugar, we have to even it out. Blood sugar should be smooth. You know, through the day, you're supposed to be hungry, eat some food, but feel all right and feel the same after you eat. You're not supposed to feel very weak and then you eat and you're like, oh, now I need a nap. That's not normal. That is not normal. You're supposed to feel the same all day. That's what health is. It's keeping the same thing going all day. Improve your brain neurotransmitters. Maybe your serotonin is low, your dopamine. Parkinson's is the dopamine problem. Serotonin problems, acetylcholine. These are the things that make you not enjoy the things you used to enjoy. These are the things that make you feel anxious. These are the things that make you have the problems where people say, it's all in your head. That guy, that girl's crazy. That's, this, these are the neurotransmitter problems. Thyroid's biggest, biggest attack is on the brain. That's what I'm concerned about so much. What is it doing for brain degeneration? I've wrote articles about it, and I'll talk to you about it in person. Restore the gut lining. If you got the leaky gut, guess what we have to do? Patch it up. Autoimmune diet, specific supplements. There are going to be vitamins you need. If you're low on something, guess what? You got to take it, right? Uh, if you're allergic to something, it's simple. You're not going to be eating it anymore. If you have one exposure to a food you're allergic to, you have antibodies in your body reacting to it for six months. Think about that. If you're allergic to dairy and you eat dairy, you could have a flare up that would last six months. So, people, I put them on a no soy diet. And then I say, have you been eating soy? And they giggle, giggle, giggle. And he's like, oh, just a little extra soy sauce. Guess what? You've broken your promise to me and yourself. You can't do that. You've already set yourself back. This is very serious stuff. If you're eating poison, you have to stop eating poison. It's simple. It makes sense. Utilize brain rejuvenation therapy. We'll get into that in another series of videos. But it's specific therapies dedicated in targeting different deficits in the brain. and Really focusing what's going on there.